Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and today is episode 11 of my D'Agostini Build Your Own X-Wing. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. That's right, we're doing another, another installment of the Build Your Own X-Wing. Now, in the past, I've said that uh, lately those videos have been kind of boring because it's just a long, sped up, quiet video of me working and building. And so not exactly entertaining to watch. And so I thought what I would do is edit it, make it a little bit more succinct, right? Concise, small, <laughs> short, and, and just give you the highlights, right? Just give you the highlights. Um, lately, I've been having a little issue with some of the parts staying together been dabbling uh, with super glue more than normal. You're not supposed to use super glue on this. Uh, everything's supposed to snap together or screw together, but some of the snap together parts um, fall <laughs> later on. And so anything that's fallen off, I have super glued back on. Uh, this last week, the engine, one engine would uh, broke off twice. So um, I had to do a little bit of a, a little bit of fixing on that. Um, but hey, if you're not into the X-Wing build, I understand. I also do vintage book reviews. I do vintage toy reviews. I've done uh, Star Wars game tutorials. Anything that has to do with Star Wars, um, that's that's what my channel is all about. There's no hate here. I love everything, the prequels, the Han Solo movie, all of it. If it says Star Wars on it, I'm a fan. So uh, let me show you the latest updates with the X-Wing build. So case in point, for the next two things I'm going to show you, it took five volumes just to build these next two things. Because literally they're sending you a few pieces here, a few pieces here, a few pieces here, and you're just building it, yeah, piece by piece. And so it's kind of a slow process. Uh, every single one of these volumes has just only a handful of pages of instructions, which um, I think for me as a model builder, it's a little too slow because some of the things, they're like, put this big piece in, and then you have to wait for another episode and then it says now put this small thing on the big piece and I'm like wait I wish you had told me that here because then I would have done this part differently so not knowing the next step you know having to wait for the next step um, it's a little frustrating but I'll show you the two pieces that we got to build um, the first one is the proton torpedoes uh, they're kind of cool I don't know why these don't have ends tips yet but I haven't got to that part yet and I have no idea where they're gonna go like, no, I have no clue. I don't see anywhere on the X-Wing that this giant thing will fit. So uh, I'm really looking forward to finding out <laughs> where this goes. But um, yeah, this was two or three magazines just to build this one little thing. And then there was the power generator. So again, more of these fun little tubey things. Those are always fun to build. And not everything lined up perfectly on this one, but I don't care because this is going to go under the body. So you'll never see this, you know, unless you open the body up. But I mean, it's a cool little addition and it's, I mean, it's fun to know that it's under there. So this is going to go like in the long part uh, between R2 and the engines at the top. And it's, this kind of just nests right there. But then the, you know, the outer shell will click over the top. So yeah, you will uh, never see this. I guess you can imagine that if there was a problem with the X-Wing, you know, the technicians would lift that shell off and they would have access to it. But uh, it's only just going to make this massive <laughs> X-Wing even heavier. So yeah, these two things, that was five, five volumes of, of tutorial to build these two things. Uh, but I've got some really cool... Uh, footage to show you of the electronics and the lights and sound. So we'll cut to that now. Okay, so the lights and everything, motherboard, wires, none of it works until you get to issue 74. And then after you get to issue 74 and you plug in wire number 20, your engine lights work with the remote. Uh, I mean, I'm, you, can't, you can't understand how happy I am to know that these work, <laughs> that I actually did the wiring correct and that it actually works. I am so, I am so stoked. And yes, that means my laser cannons work as well. I got my lights 
turned down low so you can actually see them. They're not as bright, but uh, they are working. And I don't have him mounted down, but this is just a sample. Uh, R2's head spins around. I don't, it works. It, let's just say it works, all right? <laughs> and I never thought the X-Wing wings would open. I'm positive I did it wrong. But look at that. They open, they're loud. But they work. It works. And that's everything, right? That's everything. I, like I said, I wanted to keep these short. Keep these short so that they're easier to watch, easier to digest, makes you come back. So thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll answer any comments down below. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.